Today, fourth grade artists, we are going to be starting our emoji agamographs. To do that, we need to start by making our emoji paintings. At the drive through you're going to need to grab two pieces of white paper, a messy mat. If you are a number three chair, you're going to grab the lunch tray paints today. And I'll bring around a circle tracer for each of you. On the back of your paper, you need to, in pencil, write your name and class code. Miss G. Miss G. And on the other side, your paper needs to go horizontal. That means side to side. This would be vertical, tall like a building. With your paper horizontal, you need to trace a circle. And I have these circle tracers so you can get them just about perfect. So around the outside, got to kind of line it up so it's as close to the middle as I can get. And my second one. I'm going to be doing two emoji paintings today. Now your emoji could look like one that's on the smart board. You could make up your own emoji. But all of our emoji faces are going to start with that same circle. So looking at the one on the smart board, I could make up my own. I could follow one that I see. I'm going to do the smiley face. Drawing light with my pencil. And if it's not perfect, that's okay, fourth grade. It's my emoji, so it can look any way that I would like. I think I'm also going to do the smoochy face. That's my favorite emoji. It's got a little heart on it. All right, once I have both of my emojis traced out with pencil, I'm going to trace them in Sharpie. So going around each of my lines really carefully. After each of my emojis are traced out, I am going to begin by painting them. Now you could paint them with the realistic colors that you're seeing on Smartboard or on normal emojis, or you could change the colors up. I'm going to keep mine kind of realistic. I have painted in both of my emoji paintings, coloring in with Sharpie the black parts of the face. I'm going to carry them both on the same messy mat and put them in the red drying rack. I want to make sure that there's no white space, maybe except for the teeth, but the backgrounds need to be painted in as well to finish off my paintings.